Hi, hi, welcome to Carnivo. So, in this episode of Leak Code Theories, we are going to solve the question called Numbers of Steps Until Zero. So, it's a very simple question based on logic, math, and just even our odd stuff like that. So, let's get started. So, here we have our question. So, it's the 1342nd question. Doesn't matter, let's get started. So, given an integer num, return the number of steps to reduce it to zero. So, we'll be given an integer num. We have to reduce it to zero and we have given a procedure how to reduce it okay so we have to note down the number of steps does it take from the number num until zero okay so in one step if the current number is even you have to divide it by two okay so we are given a number right if that number is an even number we'll divide that number by two otherwise you have to subtract one from it so, what do we mean by that? Otherwise means if it is an odd number, we will have to subtract one from it. So, it's a very simple process. The procedure is, if it is an even number, divide by 2. If it is an odd number, subtract one from it or decrement it by 1. Okay. Repeat this exact same process until you meet 0, until that number becomes 0. Now, the how many times have you run this loop or how many steps have you taken right from num and all the way until 0? That is your answer. So, it's a very simple question as you can see. Now, let's get started as usual by taking an example and developing an algorithm, later going into recode and solving that algorithm. So, let's get started with an example of n equal to 14. So, with this num is equal to 14, what is the first step? We have to check whether the given number is even or odd. So, we have this boolean variable in order to denote whether the given number is even or odd. If it is in green, of course, it means the number is even. If it is red, it means the number is false. So, this number that we have here, this box that we have here is the counter that we have. So, this counter is incremented each and every time we perform an operation here. And that is, each and every time we reduce it. And at last, this becomes the answer. So, let's get started. First, is 14 an even number? Yeah, 14 is an even number. So, what do we have to do? We have to divide it by 2. So, when 14 divided by 2, we get 7. Now, is 7 an even number? No, 7 is not an even number. It's an odd number. And hence, we would have to subtract 1 from it. So, 7 minus 1. So, here we have done 2 operation and hence, our counter here is 2. Okay. Moving on, now we have 6. Is 6 an even number? Yeah, 6 is an even number. So, divide by 2, we get 3. And the increment of the counter is now 3. Now, the value here is 3. Is 3 an even number? No. So, we have to subtract 1 from it. We have 3. When done the decrement operation, it becomes 4. Okay. So, 3 is an odd number and hence we decrement it. Now, the step count becomes 4. Now, we have 2 with this. Is 2 an even number? Yeah. It becomes 1 because 2 divided by 2 is 1. And the step count is incremented to 5. Okay. Now, we have 1. Is 1 an even number? No, it's an odd number and hence we subtract 1 from it. What do we get out of it? We get 0. Now, as we have reached 0, first for subtracting, we'll increment the counter. Now, the counter becomes 6 and 1 minus 1 is 0. And that is our answer. And hence, now we have to return our counter, which is 6. Now, 6 is the number of steps it takes to take that num and reduce it to 0. So, 6 is our answer for this question. So, it's a very simple loop. Okay. So, we have to repeat these set of process. That is, if the number is divided by 2 or if it is an even number, then divide it by 2. If it is an odd number, subtract 1 from it. Repeat this loop until you reach 0. Okay. So, that's our first step. Loop until 0. So, we have to continue this exact same process. We have to repeat this exact same process until you reach 0. If number is even, in that case, we would have to divide it by 2. And else, if it is an odd number, we just subtract 1 from it. Repeat this loop until you get 0. But don't forget to increment the number of steps at each and every point in the loop. So, initialize it to 0 and increment it in each and every iteration. And finally, when you come out of this loop, whatever value that is being stored in the steps, that becomes our answer and that 
is the number of steps it takes to reduce the given num into 0. Now let's go to lead code and solve this exact algorithm. So here we are in lead code. We have this function called number of steps. It takes a num as input. Essentially, we have to reduce this num into 0. And we are returning the number of steps, which is also an integer. Now let's first declare the steps is equal to 0. Okay, so int steps is equal to 0. What's the first step? Now we would have to loop until we reach 0, right? For that, we are using a while loop. While our num is greater than 0. When it becomes equal to 0, we put on a stop. So that is why or that is where the condition fails. Okay. So until the num is greater than 0, we continue this process. What is the process? In order to check whether the given number is even or odd. So if num modulo 2 is equal to equal to 0. So if it is true, then it means the number is even. In that case, we divide the number by 2. So how do we divide the number by 2? So num divide equal to 2. So what does this mean? Number is equal to number divided by 2. So we take a number, divide it by 2 and store it in the same variable and that is what it means. Now, else if it is an odd number, we just subtract 1 from it, num minus minus. <coughs> so we must for not forget that we have to increment the value of steps. So steps plus plus, okay. And finally, we are going to return the steps outside the while loop that we develop. So this is basically the code that we need in order to complete this question. Now let's run this code and check for any errors that we might have. I don't think we have any errors here, but okay, we have passed the test. Now let's submit the code for all the other test cases for the read code to check. So congratulations, we have successfully solved the question of number of steps to zero. So if you love this video, please drop a like and subscribe to code. If you have any queries, drop down in the comments. And we'll see you in the next episode of the Lead Code series. Until then, bye-bye.